California teacher is now on leave after this video went viral. The teacher appears to be explaining Sokotoa, a term used to help memorize trigonomic functions, often criticized when paired with offensive native imagery. In the more than two minutes of video, which has now been viewed by millions online, the Riverside teacher is seen in a headdress made of paper feathers with imaginary tomahawks in her hands, hopping around the room and screaming. The video was filmed by a student in the class, according to family friend Akale Brown, who then clipped the video and uploaded it online. How is that student doing? The student is, is very concerned, actually, for the well-being of the teacher. He's actually said he was happy that it happened to him. We're glad it happened to someone who was able to digest it instead of internalize it and go home and hurt themselves. At one point, the teacher is seen jumping on top of desks and stomping before sitting atop her own desk and calling out to the, quote, water goddess. Because, obviously, this is ridiculous. We think of Native people as existing in these primitive past tense stereotypes. Elizabeth Ellis is a Native woman and history professor at New York University. And if you are expecting Native people to be running around in leather and feathers, it's hard to think of them in the contemporary moment. And this actually really limits our access to political power and to be taken seriously as Native people. Neither the teacher nor the school where the incident allegedly occurred responded to NBC's request for comment. In a statement posted online, the Riverside Unified School District said, quote, these behaviors are completely unacceptable and an offensive depiction of the vast and expansive Native American cultures and practices. The district says the teacher has been placed on leave as they conduct a full investigation. I hope that they do some re-educating and that they make sure that something like this never happens again to a Native student. All right, Priscilla Thompson joins us now on set. There are a lot of things confusing about that video. I think one of the main ones is it's not even a history lesson. It was a math lesson or a social studies. It was, it was math, which is completely baffling. Uh, but you spoke to a lot of experts and some advocates, and they, they think something positive could actually come from this incident? Right. They think this could be an opportunity to have constructive conversation around representation of Native American people and what that looks like in schools. Uh, and one of them also mentioned Halloween is right around the corner. We know there are going to be some folks out there who would probably like to dress up as a Native American, and this is an opportunity for them to perhaps rethink some of those decisions, too. Okay, Priscilla Thompson with that video and that story tonight. Priscilla, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, and verse 1, and it reads, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesied against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord power, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who we're egging cause. God, and His name in Hebrew means He exists. Yahweh Shah, His name is the only begotten Son, but we're egging cause Jesus Christ, and His name in Hebrew means He delivers. By Hashem is in the name of Kakadash, the Holy Spirit. Only of double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who will be some blessing to Sister Akim. Let's push it forward in the truth without the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom on to your brothers. Keep pushing. And a double shalom to the Israelites who look like the other nations and the Shishu Akwatim. I want to say shalom on to your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Alvard from GMS Line, St. Louis Camp. And I'm coming back at it with another video. And yeah, from what you just saw was a sheet of mic, a devil that was uh, mocking the Northern Kingdom. Gad, all right, which are you so-called North American Indians or Native American Indians, all right, from various tribes, all right, and with that being said, hey, we in the last days, and these Edomites are basically showing their horns and showing their hatred that they have for you, and she wasn't even in a history class, she was in the 
math class. So I don't know what the lesson was, but you know, she's just being a damn devil. Just trying to sneak and do it. Cause you know, these Edomites, they hate you, you know, from these damn, um, these are people that think that they got quote unquote white friends. You look, you don't, all right? You might got a white friend, but look, you don't have no Edomite friends. Cause a lot of these quote unquote white people that you see hanging around Jake, really they Jake, they just look like Esau. Cause you know, our people are scattered throughout all these various different nations and they looking like all the other heathens. All right. And so like you, so like you for the background, I'm at work trying to do this video in the break room. So like you. But um, God, let's read on. Verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword and the time of the calamity and in the time that their iniquity had an end. All right? Therefore, as I live, said the Lord, power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. All right? That's what's coming to the streets of America. These Edomites, they already know their kingdom is over. They know it's over. So, uh, their attitude is, hey, if I can't take you out, or if I can't win, I'm going to just take everybody out with me. I ain't going down without a fight. You know, because these devils are proud. All right? So let's go to Zechariah. I'm going to have to wrap back up, and I got, I got to be back in like two minutes. Should be Zechariah 1 and 15. I am very so displeased with the heathen that are at ease. If I was but a little displeased, and they held forward the affliction. All right, so you Edomites, you held forward the affliction. Well, especially you Edomites, yeah, all you nations had a hand in our downfall. So therefore, all you nations, especially you Edomites, are going into slavery. All right. All right. It said, therefore, they said, the Lord, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. My house shall be built in it. Say the Lord of hosts, and a line shall be stretched forth upon Jerusalem. Yeah. Uh, cry yet, saying the Lord. Thus said the Lord of hosts, my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad, and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. Right. So the Lord chose us. Hey. And that didn't change. That didn't change at all. So, you heathen, you're just going to have to just deal with it. Hey, we had to swallow that pill of slavery. Now it's your turn to swallow that pill of slavery. Matter of fact, let, let's get uh, Obadiah. Let's get Obadiah. It says, um, Obadiah 1 and 1, the vision of Obadiah. Let's say the Lord power concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and ambassadors sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Yeah. And, um, yeah, because we're on the brink of world war right now. And, um, that, and who is that ambassador? That's, that's, um, that's talking about the, uh, that's symbolic for the truth. All right, the men of the Lord. And, uh, Yahweh Shah. All right. Says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. Right, yeah, so you eat much the yellow despised. Despised heavily. Despised heavily. Alright. Everybody everybody hates you damn devils. Alright? And I'm ended off with this, then I gotta I gotta go back. So like you for that. It's like you if it seem like I'm rushing. Uh, Revelation 13 and 9 If any man have an ear let him hear He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity He that killeth with the sword Must be killed with the sword Here is the faith and the patience of the saints All Right So yeah hey, that's it So yeah that's what we waiting for Because we can't wait Call Shalom in the Bible